Hi, this is John Yorkin with GE Analytical Instruments, and welcome to the M9 TOC Talks on Data Pro 2. This session will be a continuation from our last talk. In our previous session, we showed you how to set up a method. Now we will show you how to create a protocol. From the home screen, you will need to select one or a set of vials. The orange vials from the auto sampler field are the vials selected for this unique protocol. Once you've selected the vials for the protocol, we need to apply the methods that are needed for the run. As you can see here, this protocol is utilizing a TOC method with four repeats, zero rejections, and the appropriate flow rates for the sample types. Once your methods are set, you have to select the little icon of vials. That's the little icon with the blue vials that you see here highlighted on the screen. This will apply the unique methods to the protocol. After assigning the methods to the protocol, the vials in the auto sampler rack display will change color to gray, and the result screen will auto-populate. However, if you need to make some edits on sample name or add a lot number, you can edit these fields. You can also add or remove vials from the existing protocol by selecting one of these icons. And if you're ready to run your protocol, you can press the play button. Oh, and uh, one last thing. You now have a graphic display of how much time the protocol will take. This is a great feature for analysts that are on tight timelines for sample turnaround. But what if you have an emergency? You know those times when non-routine samples are dropped off and you have an 11-hour protocol running? That's not a problem for Data Pro 2. Emergency protocols can be assessed by clicking the red emergency protocol button. Then load your emergency vial rack and then select the emergency icon again. It will switch to green and Data Pro 2 will indicate it is in emergency mode. It will provide you the time remaining for the emergency run. When the run is complete, you can resume the regular protocol. And that's about it for running unique protocols in Data Pro 2. Thanks again for tuning in for this M9 TOC talk.